less than two weeks until Election Day, and tonight we are taking a look at the medical marijuana question, and some former law enforcement officers and veterans are now voicing their support for Initiative 65. 12 News' Tao Ta shows us why it's a decision that didn't come easily for some. Tao? That's right, Byron. Well, 34 states, including Arkansas, Louisiana, and Florida, have approved the use of medical marijuana. For Mississippi to become the 35th, it would have to approve one of two options, Initiative 65 and Alternative 65A. Three years ago, if you've asked former law enforcement officer Ronnie Pollard if he approved of any marijuana legalization, he would have said absolutely no. But things have changed. It really uh, was a wake-up call for me. It was a... Uh, it literally shook my world. In 2017, Pollard's daughter was diagnosed with leukemia. She's now in remission. Pollard now supports legalizing medical marijuana to help those dealing with health problems similar to what his daughter went through. Pollard is a former lieutenant with the DeSoto County Sheriff's Department. And unlike many of his fellow law officers, he's supporting Initiative 65. Law enforcement is talking about how hard this is going to be. This is going to be one of the easiest things for law enforcement. I mean, I've been there, I've made the stops, I know this can easily be enforced. Initiative 65 guarantees a program start date and a specific list of 22 qualifying debilitating medical conditions. The competing alternative initiative 65A puts it in the hands of elected officials to enact a program. The Mississippi State Medical Association urging Mississippians to vote no on 65. People in Warren County and Vicksburg decide they don't want these pot shops, they have no control over it. They can't uh, opt in or opt out. It's forced on them. So uh, this is not the um, elective democracy that we're used to in the United States. In regards to President Trump's campaign telling the Mississippians for a Compassionate Care Group to stop using his name for medical marijuana legalization efforts. That was completely unwarranted and untruthful. President Trump on multiple occasions has expressed support for first of all medical marijuana and second of all for the state's rights to choose. The Mississippi Association of Chiefs of Police representing nearly 330 state police chiefs is opposed to both Initiative 65 and Initiative 65A. The association does say that if people do vote to approve medical marijuana, they should choose Initiative 65A. Now, if Initiative 65 passes, officials say a regulated program will be set up immediately by the Mississippi Department of Health.